people who take out their phones to record strangers who are having bad days, why? There was this really bad accident one town over where this dude from out of town ran past a stop sign and slammed into a van full of three or four children, the mother and the father. Some weren't wearing seat belts. The father and son in the van survived with some injuries. The mother had a brain injury. Three children died, one was unborn. The father recorded video after video about the event that happened. He documented every painful thing that happened to help him cope with what happened. He shared it all to Facebook to reach out to the community for help. This is all fine, but this man's wife had just lost two babies, and her unborn baby. She was in a coma unlikely to wake up. In a turn of events, the wife woke up and began to rally. This is where I became grossed out. Shortly after she woke from her coma, the husband pulls out his phone and records himself telling his wife that they lost three of their children. He puts the phone in her face rather than console her. Then, he posted it online for the hundreds and hundreds of people following the event on Facebook. This woman just got out of a coma, and just received the worst news of her life, and this man put it online for the world to see. Absolutely disgusting. The wife died later on too. Terrible situation. I can't claim to know what I would do if it were me, but it was awful to see. One time I actually went verbally abusive towards my neighbor for this. My fiancé is an epileptic. His seizures can be live-threatening as they sometimes stop his heart. One evening last year he had one of those and I had to perform CPR. I obviously simultaneously called an ambulance and they came shortly after, leaving the lights on because they had to park in the middle of the street. Now after a seizure, my fiancé is very disoriented. He doesn't know where he is, who he is, who anyone else is, it sometimes differs, but it's always bad. On this particular day, he remembered me and took to me for help in his confusion. He couldn't fell his legs, he didn't know what was happening. He didn't realize he only had his underpants on, we had gone to sleep about an hour before and it was a very hot day. He was bleeding from his mouth because he had bitten a tiny bit of his tongue off and his chest was red from me hitting it during CPR. He looked awful. When the paramedics and I helped him outside to bring him to the ambulance, he wasn't able to put any clothes on due to his disorientation and would shrug any blanket off because it was too hot. The neighbor alerted by the siren and lights of the ambulance, was standing outside his house, beer in hand, filming us. I helped put my fiancé into the ambulance and went to grab a bag of stuff for the hospital. My fiancé cried out for me like a lost child since I was the only person he recognized. It was heartbreaking. And my asshole of a neighbor filmed it all while laughing his drunken ass off. I went over yelled at him in very explicit language and demanded he delete the video. He just laughed at me. Well, joke was on him. I called the cops and they took the phone. He got to pay a fine for filming a person without permission, illegal in Germany, and has now orders to stay away from us. I still wonder what he thought while doing this. Or if he thought sth at all. My brother suffers from seizures and that shit is no joke and yet, He's crazy disoriented after they're done too. Big FYI to people, but if someone is seizing, roll them on their left side not right. It's to prevent fluids from building up and choking them. Glad my brother's heart doesn't stop cause that would only add to the scare factor, but my condolences for your husband on that, hope they find a medicine that treats it. Good news is my brother's condition has improved so much over the years. He tells me the doctors are ready to take him off the seizure meds. Shit's so scary to see the first couple of times, but you do kinda get used to it eventually. I was out with a friendly acquaintance once when he suffered a seizure. None of us had any idea what to do, but I just reacted instinctively by sitting cross-legged and cradling his head in my lap slash hands. We were on hard cement and I was worried he would get hurt from all the thrashing. No idea if that was the right response. Poor guy was so incredibly disoriented afterwards and just wanted to be treated normally, yet we were in a very busy area in front of a hotel and people wouldn't leave us alone. 
I asked him if we should call an ambulance and he said it happens to him pretty frequently and not to worry. Wild. Must be exhausting to deal with that all the time. I would have lost my shit if somebody had filmed us while laughing, despicable. Nurse here. You did good. Don't ever restrain a person having a seizure. Just try to protect their heads. Put pillows or hoodies or whatever under their head. Just make it soft. For anyone else who may read this, don't put anything in a seizing person's mouth. It's a myth that they can swallow their tongue. It's impossible to swallow your tongue. Your body is designed to specifically not do that. Especially the ones that use filming you as a threat. I was just doing my job one day when this customer got extremely upset because she wasn't getting her own way and got her phone out and stuck it in my face and started filming. I really wanted to grab it out of her hand and launch it as far as I could but luckily I didn't take the bait and kept my job. Had this happen a couple times. As soon as I know I'm on video I will go along the lines of this. I don't care about that, you just can't walk into my store and ejaculate onto the carpet. Sir, why are you showing me photos of your penis? That's fine ma'am but you really shouldn't smack your children with an open fist, should I call the cops? Only had one person call the cops so far, and they were more than happy to remove customers that weren't adhering to store policy. You want to try and dick me over? I'm bored as shit and on minimum wage, trust me I will find a way to turn that shit right around.